Hello and welcome back. This time around I've got some seedlings, 12 seedlings, in 2 inch rock wool cubes that I've been top feeding. And these are under lights. Uh, they're seedlings that have their second leaves showing a couple of, about a week or so into the second leaves. And because I'm top feeding these with nutrient solution uh, and they're under lights, some algae is starting to form on the rock wool cubes and I'm not fond of that. So I need to figure out a way to start bottom feeding these plants. Uh, and it seems like putting these in the flood table right now is a little excessive for 12 plants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transplant uh, these 12 plants into 3 inch pots and uh, then every morning I'll dip these into a tray of nutrient solution and uh, let them sit for the day like that. And that should be enough because at that point the rock wool will be saturated. So I'll show you some of the things that we're going to be working with with this project. I got my 3 inch pots with my markers, plant markers. I've got the actual seedlings uh, right here, these guys, mm, very nice looking. Uh, an extra tray that this is what I'm going to be dumping stuff into, or dipping things into, I shouldn't say dump. Uh, and I've got an air pump and an air stone. This water I've already uh, pH down to 5.8 and a very light nutrient solution, a little less than quarter strength. And a larger uh, pot that I'm going to use to put some perlite that I have here. Uh, into where to go? Here it is. Uh, this uh, paint strainer to get some of the dust and small bits off of the perlite, so it won't end up down in my flood tray. So I'll grab my pot here, fill it up with some perlite. Dump it in my paint strainer. Normally this is something that I would do outside, but uh, it's evening, and it's dark, and it's cold, and it's rainy. And I think that should be enough. Actually, you know what? I was going to do this in the sink, but I think uh, I'm better off doing this outside. So I'll be back in just a few minutes with this all rinsed off. So I'll run outside and do that real quick. I've got my seeding chart, so I know which kind of pepper is which, and I already know that this is my eggplant, but um, this way I can keep track and make sure I'm going to mark these properly. I'm going to start with the red bell peppers, the last row here, uh, and transplant those first. So I got my, uh, my markers all made out, a few pots here. We're going to put about a half an inch of perlite in the bottom of the pot. A little too much. And then we'll take one of our red bell peppers, break these little guys off. Take one of the squares, little two inch squares here. Set it on top of that. And take some additional perlite and just go around the edges. Basically the same idea as uh, how you would transplant into dirt, except there's no packing involved. But you do want to make sure that you cover up the rock wool to keep the light off of it. Yeah, he looks nice and cozy. So we got that one. Doesn't that look fantastic? Do another one. Oh, I forgot to mark it. Make sure you put your marker in there so you can keep track of what you got going. And we'll do another half an inch of perlite on the bottom. All right, and then we'll mark that one, and keep it straight, and we'll sort of speed things up here a little bit. All 
So there we have our seedlings transplanted into our three inch pots. We'll take these into the flood tray and I'll show you how I'm going to, or the flood table, and we'll, uh, we'll show you how I'm going to manage watering these every day. So now I have my transplanted seedlings back in the flood table and I've got a propagation tray with no holes in it. I'm going to pour some of my very diluted nutrient solution into. Oh, what a mess. But that's all right. You can fill it about halfway. Let's get a bit more water. So uh, as I take the tray full of my little peppers and set it right in there let them sink let that drain back in so I'm basically simulating an ebb and flow flood table but I don't want to fill up the whole 20 gallon reservoir with these 12 plants and you can feel that it's considerably heavier in the meantime I don't want this light on my in my nutrient solution here so what I'll be doing is I'm gonna get some cardboard and I'm gonna cover up all this stuff that's not being used here and I forgot to mention that the air pump little ten dollar air pump fish fish tank pump I'm using to aerate a little air stone here I'm using to aerate this nutrient solution just to keep it oxygenated. Now, probably completely unnecessary. So I got my, my cardboard cut out. Gonna set that right on there. That should keep out most of the light. And we'll cover that up a little bit. And that should keep the algae off of that. And then tomorrow morning, uh, before work, I'll just take that off and move this up a little bit and dip those the tray and the two, well, three loose ones and water them for the day. We'll do that until the uh, 50 or so, 60 maybe, hopefully, tomato plants are ready to go. Then we'll, we'll pretty much fill up this uh, uh, flood table with all the seedlings and we'll just uh, fill up the 20 gallon reservoir and uh, we'll flood the whole table all at one time with a, uh, with a water pump. We'll go over that when the time comes. So. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, we'll probably see you next time.